Um, hi everybody, Craig Apple, Albany County Sheriff. Uh, we just again wanted to follow up with a little weekly update of what we got going on. Um, as you know, we continue to be, to be aggressive pushing out the personal protective equipment, um, still pushing it to our frontline heroes, our first responders, skilled nursing facilities, um, adult homes, and obviously our hospitals. Um, what we also are doing this week, we are taking over the nursing home testing kit and, um, and the distribution of the kits. So as part of the governor's executive order, every nursing home in Albany County and surround obviously in the state, but we're focusing on Albany County, every worker needs to be tested twice a week. So in order to do that, we have to um, be in constant communication with the nursing homes, find out exactly how many kits they need, distribute the kits, get the kits back, and make sure they're disseminated to the lab. The kits are pretty simple. Um, they come with a uh, soft shell styrofoam cooler, thermo pack, the actual swabs, and then the holder for the swabs. Swab gets broken off in it, kit sealed, taped, name on it, and off to the lab it goes. Um, it has to be done twice a week for every worker. Um, I feel bad for the workers because it's not the easiest thing to go through. Also, what we'll be starting will be an aggressive push of masks. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, we have once again pushed out roughly 140 some thousand masks, not including the N95s or surgicals. These are the cotton masks made by Hanes, and um, we will be starting one end of the county and working our way right through it, starting within the next two days. If you don't have a mask, please, please, please contact us. Come to one of our distribution points. It'll all be on social media, and uh, we give them out in two packs. Wear one one day, wash it, wear the other one the next day. Keep them clean. It's vital that you keep them clean. We don't want any unintended consequences to arise as a result of wearing dirty masks. So please, we want you safe and, uh, and healthy. Um, in addition to that, folks, um, we're getting some calls that we're getting are related to depression, um, loneliness, things like that. And we want to remind everybody, we got to check on our neighbors, check on your elderly. And in, uh, if need be, contact 211, United Way. They can get you set up with some mental health counseling and, um, and hopefully prevent a tragedy. And also, make sure you're taking care of your pets. Um, weather's starting to change. Mohawk Hudson Humane Society has got a very in-depth website. If you need something, contact them. We know everybody's going through a tough time. Food shortages, dog food shortages. Um, so we have a food drive coming up May 15th out in Boresville. Um, that's with Boston Spa Bank and the um, Northeast uh, Food Bank, Regional Food Bank. So we'll be there handing out masks to kick off our push. But uh, please, if you have a problem uh, and are incapable of traveling, reach out to ACSOEMO at albanycountynewyork.gov. Send an email. We'll try to drop a mask or two off to your house. Or you can reach out to us at 518 720 8036, that's our emergency operations center. We'll have a running list and we'll try to get you a mask as soon as possible. I will be kicking out on Twitter, Facebook, and, um, and our next YouTube video of all the locations, but we will start within the next two days. And again, my goal is to start having deputies at each end of the county and work right to the middle. So uh, please, please, please wear the masks. It's working, the curve is flattening, and we need to keep fighting hard to uh, make sure it flattens right out. Thank you very much. Um, Craig Apple, Albany County Sheriff, and if you get a chance, please subscribe. We've got some really good stuff coming up. Thanks.